Welcome to India Lingua News. We have a new band, well, not almost a new band in Boston, Tal Mill. We have two of their founders with us, Smriti Rao and Rahul Sukla. We are going to talk to them about how this band was formed, what is their mission, and also their unique style of music. Rahul, welcome to our studio. Thank you so much for Smithy, having us. welcome. Thank you for having us. And uh, <clears throat> so excited to have you. I saw for the first time you were banned for farming at the Saheli event. And I must say, I was really mesmerized by the mixture of different types of Thank music you. you brought together. And for the first time, we really enjoyed this. <laughs> so we thought, let's talk about that and bring you guys here. Thank you. Um, I like the name Tal Mill as well, <laughs> because it's a, what a wonderful name you, you, you selected. So, uh, Smriti, I want to start with you. Uh, tell us about the founding of the band, when it was founded, and how it was founded. Uh, so, just to give credit where it's due, the name Tal Mill comes from one of the other founders, Kamal Dasu, who's mm -hmm. a drummer. So, Rahul, myself, my husband Kartik, who plays guitar uh, in the band, uh, and then our friend Kavita, Kamal, we all sort of knew each other as friends, um, and the Boston area, and uh, we played together informally at, you know, parties and things like that. Parties, yes. And then we decided to try to uh, do this a little more systematically because we were enjoying it so much. Uh, and so in 2018, at the Arlington Porch Fest, which is a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, sort of open event where bands like us could, you know, try out things and see how we sounded and have an audience that would respond or give us, you know, as you were saying, feedback. Mm. Uh, so 2018 Arlington Porch Fest is when we uh, when we got together. And, and then COVID comes in the picture as well, right? <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys do? That's a great point. So we had begun practicing. We had started finding each other and playing with each other. And of course, like you said, COVID came. Um, the one thing about the band is we are all very passionate musicians. And so in our respective homes, all of us were still doing our homework. So we're still working on our instruments. And then we had a had a Zoom call. Yeah. We said, uh, why don't we do something virtually? Mm -hmm. And so this is a band that will take on any kind of challenge. And so we said, well, we aren't going to be meeting, but let's try to do this. Let's get up to speed with the technology that is needed to get there. And so we worked on a composition, uh, home days and um, remind me of the days. Uh, home, so home days, yes. Yeah, home and, and Yejohad days. We mm. played that uh, virtually. And so then each one of us did our homework. And so again, we stayed with the music and we were able to put something out. For So where do you get this idea about uh, combining Eastern and Western music, how that comes in? So partly, I think, so Rahul plays guitar, Karthik, my husband plays guitar. I have mostly sung actually Western music, not mm -hmm. uh, even though I learned yeah. some Hindustani music, I primarily sang music in English. Um, but Kavita, on the other hand, is trained in uh, Carnatic music. And then Kamal is a drummer, which is again mm -hmm. a Western instrument. So I think it was almost by force of necessity yeah. because uh, obviously the instruments were Western, uh, but all of us, of course, listened to you know all kinds of music, including Indian classical. So, so I think it was almost um, you know just the nature of the instruments, the nature of our backgrounds was such that it it was almost inevitable that it yeah. would have to be some kind of attempt. At I think we've all grown up sing, hearing all the different genres. Sure. Yeah. So, what is the mission of uh, Talmud? So I think the idea is, uh, to, to be very honest, it's to, to, to play good music uh, mm. and to blend the different genres, not feel limited by one style. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think we love experimenting. And so I, I, I think if there's a mission, Mr. Smriti, correct me if I'm wrong, is it is to unify a very divisive world in my mind, right? Mm -hmm. So we go and sure, play out to, all, uh, to the audience and sure. we bring all the different audiences together and something in our music appeals to every genre. Exactly. So um, you are also a professor of economics by profession, right? Yeah. And then music, what a great combination. Now, what about you? So I work uh, in a consulting firm mm -hmm. uh, in Boston in the world of finance. And so, um, again, it's private equity. Mm -hmm. So it's it's largely... So all the founders and players are really very highly accomplished professionals as well, right? 
I don't know about highly accomplished, but yes, we have day jobs. We have day jobs. You have day jobs. Yes. Okay. Which pay the mortgage and. Yes. Uh, yes. So how how and how do you practice? How how uh, how do you? Uh, I'll begin, please. Yes. Come yes. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Usually, given we all have day jobs, we have families, we have very supportive partners. That's yes. the one thing we all have done right. Yeah. Yes. yes. I think they have really the right. right. They have, yeah. Without that, none without of this would be possible. Mm-hmm. Those partners, and so when we have a event in mind, and this year we've done four events, I think with that goal in mind, we plan what the song list and song set is going to be, and we incorporate a new one or two new numbers every time, and mm-hmm. then we get at it every weekend after weekend. Smriti and Karthik's lovely home is mm-hmm. our mm-hmm. base. We mm-hmm. have a basement. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the basement is where. Right. <laughs> Everyone on weekends makes it there. I want to say once or twice a week. Um, and closer more, to the day, probably. closer to the day. It's more frequent, and then there's Zoom calls for the instrument list to just stay coordinated, and and that's how we, we get there. So uh, this is. I'm going to ask a very personal question here now. Yeah. So now uh, you are uh, part of the band. Your right. husband Karthik is part of the band. You guys live together. Yes. How exciting or how crazy it is to spend so much time with the spouse. I know that's a good point. They have watched us fight. Okay. So okay. sometimes the you it's know the, the we've been we've been fighting before they arrive and yeah. the practice begins yeah. and you know so. So what about any fight on the band on the stage? On the stage, no, I don't think. No, that. I I I, I would say fight is too strong a word. It's it's too <laughs> uh, arguments, disagreements, uh, disagreements, disagreements, disagreements. Yeah. <laughs> which is what music is. <laughs> we, we are jamming to produce That's better true. music. When Karthik and Smriti are having a conversation, <laughs> we are just watching because there's something absolutely phenomenal that's going to come out because they have two big musical minds. Sure. <laughs> oh my God, he's totally exaggerating. <laughs> no, that's what I, that's how I sound like. Listen, let's just, let us play out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so now let's uh, talk a little bit about some of the examples of some of the songs which you have sung and which yeah. gives also example of, you know, Western and Carnatic music, Western okay. and yeah. Hindustani yeah. music. Yeah. Give us some of the examples. So one, I think one of the early ones we did, I don't think we performed it at Saheli might be a good example. So uh, I, I personally love singing the blues and mm-hmm. uh, you may have heard this Tracy Chapman song, uh, Give Me One Reason. And it's a, it's mm-hmm. a very popular Can song. Can you say one line, hum, one line? Give me one reason to stay here. Yeah, yeah. And I'll turn right back around. So, uh, so, yeah. so then it as I, I think we were playing it for fun, and Kavita was pointed out that um, the notes are very similar to um, uh, uh, a Carnatic song that she was familiar with. So then we worked on trying to combine those two, and now I think uh, we have played that a few times in other contexts. Um, and so it became a sort of a mashup, with an, and then there was a little instrumental lead and some improvising. And so it, it, it came almost by accident because one thing reminded us of something else. Mm-hmm. But then we had to work to sort of fit those two together and, you know, see if we liked how it sounded. And, and, and yeah. so that might be an example. Uh, Rahul, yeah. you pick up anything from I, your mind. I, my favorite was, and this was a tough one, the Blue Rondo, which is which is yeah. uh, blues. It's a jazz standard. Jazz yeah. standard, yeah. right? Yeah. And we said, well, we all love the jazz version of it. Mm-hmm. How about we just play it with Carnatic music on top? And so we right. challenged Kavita and all the instrumentalists played together. For me, I think that was that was very, yeah. very, uh, yeah. uh, it was a good one. Uh, and yes. then Jarishnu is another one, Bro Barma is another one where we sort of have really taken the east and the west and just try to put mash them up and it's 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 what is exciting is what you produce is is, mm-hmm. is, is so good we, we uh anything with uh, any experiment with a uh, bollywood yeah, sure. yeah. So, uh, so in a sense, I mean, Yejo Desa Hemira is the Swadesh from mm-hmm. the movie Swadesh. Yeah. So that's with uh, an American pop song called Home, mm-hmm. because we felt the sentiments that the two songs expressed were very similar, and then they also musically fit together. Mm-hmm. Then um, we <clears throat> now we, before we move, yeah, can you just hunt this one line from this? I, I'm putting on this part here, but okay. Swadesh Hedira. Swadesh Hedira. So that's how it Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. And uh, any your, say, yeah, no, we were, your we, favorite? We've done uh, a song from Ashiki too. And yes, that's YouTube right. Song. Way back when. Yeah, that's yeah, right. We, we did Sundraha Hai. Ah, yes, 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 combined yes, it with the YouTube song one. And uh, yeah. I, I think Karthik did a lovely job singing that piece. And 
so, so that was one in Jugni. If you at the Saheli show, Jugni yes. is from mm-hmm. the movie London. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Queen. Queen, uh, Queen, uh, Queen yeah. yeah. And it's based on London. And so she, we took Jugni and we combined it with other so survival, survival. survival. Mm-hmm. And those were all uh, experiments that we do. Nothing stops us. We, we try. <laughs> that's, that's what I like about your band. That, you know, every, yes. and it's, everything is a game. You know, let's have fun with and that. the languages we cover. I think we were five. Yeah, yeah, we did in the end. Five to. languages. And then mm-hmm. people came to us later and said, why haven't you sung in Malayalam? Malayalam, mm-hmm. yeah. Why didn't you sing in Kannada? How about yeah, Gujarati? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. we're like, okay, we have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now, what about the audience now? Let's talk about that. You know, that uh, the audience you have performed in, in front of, they include all different types of South Asian as well as the American yeah. audience as well. I would say maybe mostly Indian. I don't know what other South Asians. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. So at a Portuguese kind of gathering, you uh, you sort of, uh, it's whoever happens to be there. Mm-hmm. So it'll be people who live in Arlington or Lexington, yeah. which is where we perform. So it might be the neighbors and people in the area, people from the town. Uh, who are not Indian. And then obviously our friends, uh, you know, spread the word. So then we we get some people who are curious, mm, yeah. uh, some people who already know us. Uh, so I would say it's a mix, yeah, South Asians and uh, folks who are American origin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Can you also talk about other band members? Sure. Did yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. were a fantastic crew. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a, such a blessing to be a part. So, so Smriti is on the vocals. We have Kavita, who is the Karnataka. She's also a vocal. vocal. Yes, 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 yes. yes. An amazing. Karthik is an amazing guitarist. Uh, I learned a ton from him. And so he's, he's Smriti's husband. Kamal is the drummer. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, gosh, he, he, he is stellar. And uh, he also drums for Dinchek. So yeah. shout out to Dinchek. 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 <laughs> Saimu is. Uh, he plays the keyboard, but he does so much more than just playing <laughs> the keyboard. He, he, is, he pushes us until we are all really, really happy with where we are. And we are so glad to have him. Mm-hmm. Alde is a new bassist. Um, and again, what, a, what an amazing guy. He, for him, the learning curve was likely the steepest for Saheli when they performed because all the songs were new. He recently joined and he, if you listen to the sounds, the yeah. bass is just cutting through. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. And then every now and then we invite a guest mm-hmm. artist. So Santosh was on the Mridanga. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. actually Kavita's daughter, uh, Medha, mm-hmm. also performed one song. And so yes. uh, again, this is so again the doors are open where we invite guest artists, but the core band is is mm-hmm. talking about Dinchek, uh, yeah. their first public performance was at one of our events, which we do oh, every year. Right. Yeah. At a wedding expo in uh, in uh, right, right. many many years ago. Right. So even um, you know, Karthik actually performed with them at a show they did once before you know before all of us had gotten together. Mm. And so yeah, we know we know obviously we know Kamal, we know Anandini, we know Jolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So yeah. now, uh, if you look at uh, five years from now, mm. where you think uh, Tal Mill. So we'll be there, or what? What do you be doing is there? I, I think we'll play at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> Why not? Yeah, or maybe you guys are plugged by. Some. You know, I think I, I personally, I, I'm as long as we're playing and enjoying ourselves, I really yeah. don't have any goals that's, beyond that's, that. That's, but that's I, the but, most serious yeah, answer. Sure, I think I we just enjoy yeah. As long as we are creating. Yes, sound, I agree. As yeah. long as this, yeah. it's a very growth mindset kind of thing. You know. <laughs> And, and I see this in Karthik and uh, like Simon, like we played a song and we go back to it. There's always something different that we are doing the second mm-hmm. time. So you cannot actually just go back and play or repeat right. what you played. There's always, oh, let's just play this differently. Add this other so, so, so now since you guys are so experimental in music, uh, have ever occurred to you to do some experiment with uh, Latin music, Latin American sure. music or African music? Yeah. They are so upbeat. Like, yep. you know, when yeah. I spent 10 years in Latin America right. and the music is just like yeah. mind boggling and same thing with African music, you know. So yeah. have you tried that anything or thinking about We haven't. It? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not, but I think I would be open to it. Like Latin, yeah. I've heard a ton of Latin music and yeah. reggae and uh, Caribbean stuff. I actually think it might just be, uh, it might have to come from the rhythm section because yes. rhythmically those are both very complex forms of music. Okay. Okay. I mean, so is, yeah. so is Indian classical, sure, sure. of course. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, you know, yeah, we yeah, that's, yeah, right. that would probably be one of the, and then the other challenge is language. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but I think in music, yeah. we, we yeah. cut across all the, 
the yes. the yes 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 sure, sure. if you can play okay. Carnatic and Hindustani together you know then <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't yeah. think we can pull that we off. should try yeah uh, yeah but those beats you're absolutely right black music is so upbeat and it's absolutely from Rahul and Amisha's dance yeah. songs and stuff like oh, oh I mean, they they're more Amisha familiar with wife. this music than oh, okay, that okay. so I saw a lot of <laughs> listening to it and moving to it but yes play. and then so how long the whole all of you have known together uh, each other right? so we moved to uh, kartik and i moved to boston in 2007 and we probably met you rahul 2008 so and yeah. then the the part that i actually um, so so kartik and i met at bits pilani mm-hmm. and so kavita, you went to bits pilani both of you kavita was my batch was our batch mate okay. so we have known each other since 1993 okay and then simo Was Now you just disclose your age. I did, <laughs> I did, I did, I did, I did, which is fine. Okay. And then Simon was actually doing his masters at Pilani yeah. mm. when we were in our first year. So the four of us have known each other for what is it? Almost twenty eight years, twenty nine years. Mm, yeah. Uh, and then yeah, I think we've known Rahul since two thousand and eight. I think that's when we met, yeah. and I think there was no looking back. We started playing together, and I yeah. remember the living room concerts <laughs> that we did, and. Mm. Uh, And yeah, but there was a, so yeah. another and I kind of got Pani. I was like I said, he was an IIT. He was an IIT, but Karthik and I did overlap at UPenn. <laughs> so mm-hmm. for that's yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Though, though you guys never met, never met, never met there, met. but mm-hmm. yeah. this. But again, it's just been great. So is there any rivalry at the band about <laughs> Pilani versus? Uh, he's I, outnumbered. Yeah, no, he's outnumbered. Out. There's only I one of him, and there are four of us. <laughs> so he, you know, I, there's no chance. Uh, he's I, just outnumbered. To be a part of that. Excellent. Okay, so now. Your last word on uh, Talmil. Talmil. So you know, we we hope we've gotten better as musicians. We hope um, our experiments sound more lyrical, more interesting than they did before. Uh, and we hope many of you will try to sample our music. Maybe come by if we have another show, and uh, you know, join us on the journey. And they can also search you on YouTube as well. You have yes, if you type Talmil, T A. A L M E L, the band I think is the is the is the yeah, official whatever that. the YouTube yeah. title. So, yeah, yeah, excellent. And yeah. how are you? Last word. Oh no, thank you so much. Uh, thank you all for all the love we've received so far, and there's a lot of more music coming from the band uh, over the years. And uh, we, if if there's one thing that hopefully that translates when we're performing is just the love and passion for music and experimenting. So thank you so much. Yes, Priti. Thank you so much for your thank time, you, Rahul. Thank you so much. It really enjoyed chatting with you, and Likewise, I love uh, your band at the Sahib event. Thank, thank you. So much. Thank you so much. <laughs>